Hello again, it's Jess with Jashi Karin, and today we're going to be setting up for week 38 in my bullet journal, which is the 17th through to the 23rd of September. But before we get into that, I figured we'd just have a look at how this week was going. So as you'll remember from my last weekly plan with me, for this week I was going with that six column theme in my rainbow colours that I'm using for September. Although a fair bit of this one doesn't look quite filled in, I am really enjoying using this layout, so I'm going to be using something pretty much exactly the same for the week coming. As I really went into detail last week about how I draw this one up, for today's video I'm instead going to be talking about a few other things. If you wanted more detail about the spacing that I've used for each of these sections, then you can check out last week's video, a link to which is in the cards above. For the equipment that I'm using, you can check out the description box below. So for the voiceover section of today's video, I wanted to try something a little bit different and make it a bit more conversational rather than the scripted kind of thing that I've been going with previously. I don't strictly speaking write a script when I'm making my YouTube videos, but I do end up doing a whole bunch of multiple takes to make sure I get my wording right and pitch things in the way that I want to. This ends up taking a heap of time, and I'm really trying to get myself a little bit more comfortable with just speaking freely on my YouTube videos. Even as I'm recording this, it's really difficult not to stop myself mid-sentence and try again. One of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today was the idea of possibly doing a one month in my bullet journal style series. This is something that I know other bullet journalers on YouTube have done and I've really loved the way that they've gone through each day of a month and shown their viewers how they use their journal on a day-to-day -day basis. At this stage I was thinking I could possibly do something similar in November. If you guys would be keen for something like that, let me know in the comment section below. I'd also like to take a moment to thank my new followers and the ones that have been here for a while. Recently my channel passed 600 subscribers, and although compared to other YouTube channels for bullet journaling this doesn't seem like a lot, this is a really big milestone for me. I just wanted to say it's super cool to have all of you on board, and thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm planning on doing a giveaway when we reach 1000 subscribers, so if you have any suggestions for the things I could put in that giveaway bundle, let me know in the comments section. In other exciting news, on the 1st of September, me and my boyfriend celebrated our 6 year anniversary. And in even more exciting news, he actually proposed, and I'm now engaged. I know in this video I'm not wearing my ring because I don't typically like to wear it while I'm at home, but it may feature in some of my future videos. Recently I've been a little bit stumped for ideas as to what kind of content I want to put up on my channel. If you guys had any suggestions about videos you'd like to see from me, whether they be bullet journaling related or otherwise, please do let me know. I always super appreciate you guys sharing your ideas and sharing the things that you guys want to see. And this is where we're going to leave it for today. So as you can see, same layout as last week, I have my six columns, one for each of the days of the week and then the weekend shared on the right here, and then a small note section down the bottom. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you had any thoughts, comments, or feels, please do make sure to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel to see the videos I release every Thursday and Sunday. And until next time, bye.